Hi my people, hi hi, welcome back again to my YouTube channel, it's your girl Brain Culture here. Guess where I am at? I'm sure you're able to see the background, just the background alone is able to tell you something about this day. As everyone knows, today we are celebrating the President Kaunda, our late President Kenneth Kaunda, and today I'm at the museum and we are waiting for our special guest who is the Vice President of Zambia. Her name is Madame Mutalena Lumango. I'm sure we all know that place. So we are waiting for her today for her to come and officiate the opening of the exhibition for the late president Kenneth Kaunda. So today is the day. Just stay tuned. Let's wait for her and we get this show rolling. I'm going to show you certain things before she arrives. Like the musicians have already come now. They are performing. So I'm going to show you clips of that. So just stay tuned. And today I've got a special person who's holding the camera. <laughs> who's helping me today. You're going to see him as we go on. Like today is a day. <laughs> so I'll see you soon. I'll catch you Soon. Bye. This is a special person I was telling you about. I just, we just met from here. Please tell us your name. Hi guys, my name is Tanwa Kananamai. So I'm from Botswana and I'm, a, I'm studying medicine here at Apex University. And Zambia is really a good place. You need to visit Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> you paid for yourself. He's, he's confident. It is not me that is speaking, it's him. Like Zambia is just a beautiful place. You have to visit. You have to visit. Definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what have you come to do here? What brought you here? Because I just met you. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we have this trip uh, for international students at Apex University. So it's kind of like uh, doing culturing so that we get used to the culture. culture. So that's why we are here. All right. So you visited the museum for Fendi? No, it's my first time. Like today is just a special day because yeah. of the, the day exhibition of the late president Kaunda. Yeah, it is. Okay, all right. Okay, good to hear that. So this is my friend here that I wanted to show you. Yeah. So thank you so much. Let's go. We show you the other things and don't forget for all those that are new on my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. You know. Remember, I'm on the road to. 1k subscribers just 1k just a short small number <laughs> so let's get there guys i'll see you very soon thank you
Jesus. I'm okay, thank you. Well, okay. Let's go. Pardon? Look at what's in the bag. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's almost lunch time, so yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can take your mask off. Oh just yeah, to so that them. people they can see. Two seconds. Wow. <laughs> it's exactly like the picture is coming. So this is family. Yes, yes. Okay, my people. This is family of the late our great president Kaunda. Yeah. Please, your name, sir. Okay, no, Kaunda Banji. Kaunda Banji. Ambassador Jetsu. Ambassador Jetsuru, yes. nice to meet you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, right now, family, we are just waiting for the vice president. So right now we are just waiting for the vice president to come out from something with the minister. So while we wait for her, we are also waiting for the family of the late president Kenneth Kaunda to arrive. They are not yet in. So we'll get the ball rolling from then. You want to understand that you are very busy uh, uh, today, but we would like to just briefly uh, introduce you to uh, Sorry Sars. Uh, we have Zambian artist here. This artist is Sidney Siansanzo, whose artists were presented by the uh, president before. So this is part of the work that uh, we did. Yeah. And beyond that far end, those are my works, they are my paintings. The other one on the dark there is a commentary on the to market in the morning. Yeah. And here behind me we have an Italian artist who came from Italy and uh, did this work based on the map and talking about migration. His name is Petro. Yes, yes. Uh, the migration now very attribute to the migration of people from place to place and behind there is the work that he came and did at the Italian school with the children. So the children went round and picked up the leaves and they went before photo etching using the sun. So you place the leaves there on the paper you expose this to the sun and the sun will only burn the area where there are no leaves. So that's the statement. Would have loved to take you around. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah. We would like to, you to have this in the office as a catalog of this exhibition uh, where people can look at uh, what we have, uh, you know, we are doing as artists in Zambia, collaborating with us. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and there, uh, that is a female artist. We have about 18 of, uh, artists in this exhibition and 8 uh, uh, women artists. And this one here is Agnes uh, Buyayongwe, who is making statements. Yeah, if she's making this one, let me just give her a chance to look at it. If you look carefully there, that looks like a hat. And that's the elephant in the room. Yeah. This kind of statements from the public, things that are oh, commentary, you can see the fire tender issues are there, the lack of, uh, you know, uh, uh, amenities and stuff like that. All oh, this is a social commentary. And your honor, I would like 
to request the right and take speech like this one is exhibited at Parliament so that the parliamentarian can see the uh, coordination of the issues that we are addressing or we are facing it as a people. And this one. So we let it be the last one. This one is important. Let me just mention to you officers, I understand the problem. This is Mukutan Kolosu. He's one of our freedom fighters. And he's the man who conceived of going to the moon before the Russians and the Americans thought of going to bring that. And we, in here we are showing videos of Mukutan Kolosu and his conception of the rocket that we wanted to launch in 1964. Just not of independence is taken. Yeah. So, Your Honor, this is just the thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for so much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
Honorable Rodney Sukumba, MP, the Minister of Tourism, all other cabinet ministers here present, the permanent secretary and the Minister of Tourism, and other permanent secretaries here from other ministries and departments. Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners accredited to Zambia and other members of the Diplomatic Corps, the Acting Director General for the National Museums Board, Senior Government Officials, Heads and Representatives of Statutory Bodies, Members of the Kenneth Kaunda family, and I did see Colonel Panji Kaunda, I believe he's here with his wife, as well as Cheswa Kaunda Silmizia, and friends as well of the family, members of staff of the late President Kaunda's office, distinguished invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very good afternoon to you all. I think that greeting requires a response. <laughs> good afternoon to you all. <laughs> Thank you, and welcome, welcome all of you to the official opening of the Kenneth Kaunda Day Temporary Exhibition here at the Lusaka National Museum. And indeed, as you heard in the prayer from uh, the chaplain of the Minister of Tourism, on this day, 98 years ago, on the 28th of April, 1924, as she described the bouncy baby boy was born. I know it's hard to imagine a bouncy baby boy when you got used to Dr. Kaunda in his later years, but indeed he was once a bouncy baby boy. 98 years ago he was born and indeed he served this country as president, the very first president of the Republic of Zambia from 1964 up to the second. Prize herself in singing traditional songs from the part of the country she hails from. So let's give a big round of applause to Esther Namunga as she gives her first performance today. So I did this song in Bambo because I'm coming from Bana. So much of it, we're not going to be able to do it. We're going to be able to do it. We're going to be able to do it. Thank you, uh, Your Honor, and just to observe all the protocols that have been laid before us. My task is very simple, is just to welcome uh, the Minister of Tourism, Honorable Rodin Sikumba, to be able to give uh, his speech. Thank you, Honorable Sikumba. Good afternoon once again. I'm quite certain this podium was designed for party Mikando because I'm now dropped. <laughs> Nobody seems to be able to see me. I honor the Vice President of the Republic of Zambia, Madame W.K. Mutarena Lumango. I worship the Mayor of the Vera City of Lusaka, Mrs. Chilando Chitangala. All Cabinet Ministers present, the Permanent Secretary of Minister of Tourism, Mr. Ivan Mohanga, and other Permanent Secretaries here present. Your Excellencies, High Commissioners, and Ambassadors accredited to the Republic of Zambia, former First Ladies present, if any, the Acting Director General of the National Museum Board, Mr. George Mutenda, representatives of the Kenneth Kaunda family, senior government officials present, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening once again. 
Uh, one of the vice presidents, uh, Stadi, was uh, so judging and speaking about the president being an ardent soccer fan and an ardent golfer. Me, myself, who's an ardent golfer, is actually relishing an idea of how best we could revamp the golf club at State House grounds. My colleague from the Ministry of Sport and I were actually thinking of having what we call the inaugural KK Day, which will probably be the first ever at State House grounds. So to just preempt, ma'am, we are thinking of having the first inaugural KK Day at State House in 2023. I think you need to give us a round of applause for that. I am gratified to welcome you all to the Lusaka Museum. Today we are meeting to witness the exhibition in memory of our founding father, the great of this great nation, Dr. Kenneth Mchinja Kaunda. This day, 28 April, was the date on which the late Republican president was born. It is therefore befitting for this historic day to have been declared an important national day by the government by declaring it calendar day. Your Honour the Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, invited guests. This gesture is one of the most appropriate way of remembering the life and contributions of the first president of the, of the, to the creation of Zambia as a foreign nation. Through this exhibition, we hope to remind the Zambian public of the different roles that Dr. Kaunda played in the history of this nation so that we can keep his memory alive. As the Minister of Tourism, we are responsible for the preservation of this nation's movable heritage of museums. In essence, our museums can be likened to the House of Memories. I honor the Vice President, some of us in our younger years used to just think of museums as witchcraft centers. One of the museums that we have in Livingstone, if you want to scare a child, you just tell them, say, let's, I'll take you to the museum, and they'll stop crying. <laughs> Therefore, it has been a great honor for the ministry to partner with the Kaunda family to plan for the exhibition, which we will be touring today, immediately after we're done in here. Your Honor, the Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to mention that without the cooperation of the Kaunda family, it would not have been possible to organize this exhibition. As the ministry, we would like to thank them for their contribution and enthusiasm which has made this historical occasion a reality. Your Honour the Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, not long ago the National Museum Board was privileged to have partnered with the Levi Manawasa family in efforts to keep the legacy of the late presidents alive. Consequently, the Osaka Museum received a number of Manawasa memorabilia, which has since been part of the National Museum collection. I wish to use this opportunity to thank the Manawasa family for their cooperation and contribution. The role of museum in our society has become more diverse. This is because museums have become key partners, not only in heritage and culture preservation and development, but also in the creative and innovative industries. Your Honour the Vice President, the Minister of Tourism has, for Tani Memorial, been singing a song of preserving culture. We do believe that a country without its culture is a broken country. And the only unique thing that we have as Zambians is our culture, and we need to preserve it at all times. In this regard, our partnership with the Kaunda family will result in the creation of a collection of valuable memorabilia of our late statesman. Further, the memorabilia will form part of the priceless list of items within the museum, which can be utilized to create value for local and international visitors. We are also confident that the family will remain open for further cooperation with the ministry towards fulfilling the broader plan of honoring our late founding father. This is important because in such cooperations that museums worldwide thrive. Your Honor the Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, invited guests, we will continue to engage the Kaunda family on the possibility of creating a Kenneth Kaunda Memorial Museum. The museum will be compli uh, compli complemented rather, with a center for the study of theories of decolonization. This topic is currently of special interest in museums studies across Africa. I believe you went for 
uh, uh, an engagement at the University of Zambia, and I'm sure you you do connect what we're trying to achieve. Your honor the Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, having said this, allow me once again to thank the Kenneth Kaunda family and other partners supporting the ministry's efforts in preserving our rich cultural and political history and indeed the tourism sector. Guest of honor, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Saka National Museum and the Kenneth Kaunda exhibition, and I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable. Honourable Minister of Tourism, Honourable Sukumba. It was one of the favourite songs for our first president, our beloved KK.